What up YouTube, this is Lucky Charms with a tutorial on 3D printing a full scale suit. Now this is my first tutorial so bear with me, I'm using my phone to record all this. Anyhow, uh, we'll be showing you how to slice, print, and assemble DO3D's Iron Man Mark 45 suit. You can contact them at info.do3d.com to purchase their file. I'll leave their info in the description below. Now before we get started, I want to show you the tools and programs you'll need in order to get this done. You'll need a 3D printer, obviously. I use the MakerBot 5th generation 3D printer along with a Weller soldering iron, so a 45 watt iron, which was hot enough, hot enough to melt a PLA. This PLA right here, which I got at Micro Center, is a toner plastics brand PLA 1.75 millimeters white. Costs about $18.99 per spool. You will need to download MeshMixer from MeshMixer.com to do all the scaling and slicing. And also ScanEck if you plan on doing any 3D scanning of yourself. That way you could scale the suit according to your proportions. ScanEck is free, uh, it's free to try. And it uses a Xbox Connect sensor to 3D scan objects. However, I won't include a tutorial on how to scan yourself. Uh, I found a few tutorials online. So I'll leave those in the description below. I have Mesh Mixer opened up. Uh, as you can see, I have a calf and a few of other models uploaded on here. Now, before you want to do anything, you want to hit this print button here. Make sure that the printer you selected is there. So as you can see, you can click the MakerBot from this drop-down menu. Make sure you pick the right uh, printer that you are using. And you can just go back, hit yes, it doesn't matter. Um, so here I have uploaded my part of my 3D scan. That's uh, my bottom half. And from here you could hit this eye icon and kind of see like a, a shadow of what it looks like inside of the armor. So as far as scaling it goes, you could click on the part you want to scale. It will highlight itself like that. Come over here to edit, transform, and now here you have your your scale factors, your size and whatever dimension. You could scale it uniformly by clicking the middle and dragging out or in, but that typically works for most of the stuff you're trying to scale. Like everybody's different, so you might need to scale it differently. In which case, you could move this to kind of match up what your leg and calf look like and just scale accordingly drag it this way to make it bigger or this way to make it taller but it's all pretty much just eyeballing it and seeing what you think looks correct you know um, that's how I s scaled my my object you can see that uh, that looks fine I've already scaled this before I'm just going to show you how I how I slice it up so it could fit on your printer. Let me just get rid of these right here. Oops. There we go. All right, so this is the part we're going to focus on today, just so you could. And I get to see what the whole process is with cutting this up and slicing it. So first things first, you want to align it. Um, make sure this base point is set to here. Uh, world origin, Y up, and translate and rotate. Hit accept. Now what that will do is it'll bring it to the center of the of the plate. You can hit view and show your printer red so that's about the size of my printer which is the MakerBot 5th gen so you can see here that's what I selected so you want to rotate this so you could make it fit better on the build plate there we go and this is the way that I cut it up last time so you you could see what it's gonna look like before you before you slice it, you want to hit accept. Now, what I use to cut this is this option here, which is plain cut. Now, this will give you a nice little straight edge 
along the, I guess, on the y-axis. My computer crashed a minute ago. Well, anyways, uh, here's a plane cut. As you can see, you can move this up and down. So what you want to do is kind of line this up right below this line right here. That's about the bounding size that you could do for your printer. And uh, you want to do a slice instead of a cut, because if you cut, it'll just delete the other part. You slice. And now this part is cut off, but you can't see it yet because the uh, shells aren't separated. So now you come over here and hit separate shells. It'll separate every single part that you see on here, including these up here, all these different colors. So what you want to do is hold on to the shift button and then click on all these bottom parts that you want to isolate from the rest. Make sure you get these tiny little, tiny little cuts right there. All right, so once you have the whole part set on the bottom, you combine those back up, and that will be your whole bottom part that you just sliced off. And with that, you can select the rest and combine them once again, besides the part you just cut. Combine the rest, so now you have two separate parts. That from that, and so now that's what you want to do for the rest. You want to move this up, transform, do the next half, bring it down. You see this line that was created from the last cut, so now you could tell exactly where you need to place this. Just make sure it's a little bit above the printer bed, so you don't accidentally make it bigger than it has to be. You hit accept. Now we're going to slice this one more time, but this time up here. And you just want to make sure everything's inside the box. Which it looks like it is. We're good in all directions. So you want to go ahead and do another plain cut. Put that right about there. Hit it. Oops. See, that's what happens when you hit cut. So you want to do is do a slice. And hit accept. And again, separate the shells. And now you go back. Hold on to the shift button. And click on all the bottom parts. Make sure you grab everything, otherwise you're going to have a missing part somewhere. And you don't want that to print out like that. Right, so that looks like I got it all. Hit combine once more. So now we have this, this. So I got all of this working up here. Now we're going to combine that last piece. So I've selected them all, hold on to shift to unhighlight these two and combine all these parts up here. Now you could print them, separate all these shells and print them individually, um, but that'll just be harder to solder together and melt because there's so many tiny pieces and you, there's a lot more room for error. So now we have these three parts here. One, two, and three. Now we want to make sure that this is going to fit, so let's move this down again. Right about there. And so, yeah, that's too big, so we're going to have to cut that off again. So, you want to repeat the same process for this top half and combine. Oops. Um, yeah, just plain cut, repeat the same process, separate shells, combine shells, and then separate them. So once you have all your three, well, you'll have four since you have to cut this part too. You want to export these individually. You just click on one and show you which one is highlighted. Export, um, pick whatever. Make sure it's OBJ. I find that to be the best. And save it in whatever folder. Once you have that completed, you need to open up your, your 
printer slicer. This is a part I already uploaded from previously. And now you see that the model is in here. It's just gonna fit right. So the next step would be to just print it on its flat side so you avoid unwanted supports. So that looks like it's working out good. For the settings I chose were your standard 10% at 0.3 millimeters height. Make sure you add the supports. Um, everything else is just set to default. And export. All right, so yeah, this is about how long it would take to print this part. Always make sure you preview what you're about to print in case something is wrong with the file. So, yep, that looks that looks fine. So now, the last thing to do is just export it to a flash drive or hit print. All right, as you can see here, this is the the model that I printed out, all four parts, and this is what it looks like once it's put together. You can see the seams in between, like right about here from where I joined the parts that I printed out. Let me give you a better look inside. That's pretty much how I soldered the plastic together. In order to solder two pieces together, you just join them up, uh, hold them together with binder clips. That seems to work. And then just slowly crosshatch this pattern until you finish and then you can lay it over with some more filament like this just uh, basically kind of same same technique that you would use to solder uh, parts together so this is the result of printing everything and joining it together you know, it's, connections are pretty strong, but just to give that extra support, I'm going to add some Bondo or resin on this, um, on the inside most likely, and use some glazed putty to get rid of these seams and make it all smooth, and sand it and get ready for priming and paint. But yeah, besides that, if you guys have any questions, leave a comment. I'll be, I'll try to be as quick as I can in replying. And yeah, happy printing.